Hey everyone, Colin Shallow back again for another throwing tutorial outside. This time I'm making a, a face that's similar to the one I made in the previous video. That was kind of a tall bowling pin shape. This one's going to have a similar kind of a top decorative piece to it, only that's going to be more rounded out, so more kind of a circular, spherical shape, I guess I should say. So on this one again, um, like I said in the previous video, you have to watch how much clay you leave at the top. I'm doing my typical thumb pull here, followed by really cottering in the bottom. If you want to make a, a spherical shape, you got to get the bottom part of your piece really squeezed in. So you'll notice that I kind of really press into the bottom to kind of squeeze that so I can get a nice dome dot shape here. And you see on the third pull, I went ahead and started pulling out and then back in to go ahead and kind of get that shape started. So as I do this, I've got my uh, chamois on the inside here. Really wet it down. It's almost got, it feels like it's snotty. So it really just glides over the clay on the inside. And really slowly, you just have to do this little bits at a time. If you push too hard, too much, your piece will collapse and then you have to start all the way we go again. So you can see I've left a good maybe two to three inches on the top here to work with. And slowly, you just start pulling little bits toward the middle, always toward the middle. If this flares out in any way, you'll never be able to get it back. I um, mean, actually, I had too much clay in the top there. My clay was too thick and I didn't need that much clay. So I ended up cutting off quite a bit of it here. So now just really delicately coming in here and squeezing this in, squeezing it in tighter and tighter and kind of uh, flaring out the top here as well. Um, and again with that rib tool, just getting rid of all this extra tool marks and hand marks and finger marks that I put on here to smooth everything out. Cutting off a little bit at the bottom and I'm ready to trim. Here's my daughter making yet another cameo appearance here. Uh, when I trim this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this guy over and actually put a, a trimmed foot on the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the top half of this using my trimming tool and my rib tool. And then once I have it where I want it, go ahead and put my chatter marks in the top. My stop and start lines. And then I've got this homemade tool that I made. Uh, and this thing is pretty genius. Uh, you can make a, a, a kind of out of clay, you can make a ring that you can put pieces like this on top of. But what I've basically done here is I, I took a, a bucket that I found and centered it up on a bat and drilled a hole in the bottom of it with a piece of wood and attached it to the bat so it stays there. And then I've lined the inside with a baby towel, baby blanket, so it's nice and soft and it kind of absorbs squeezing in there. There's my other daughter. Uh, and it basically just kind of holds the piece on there while I trim a foot on it. So I went ahead and was able to trim the foot on this. And then uh, now it has a trimmed foot. So now I'm, I'm back the next day once it's hardened up a bit more and I put it back inside this thing. It doesn't really matter if it's centered on this one this time because I'm just trimming out um, some lines on this. But uh, having it be centered inside this is critical. If, if it's wobbly, it's not just a, a like it's centering on the wheel. You have to actually center the top and bottom too so it can't have any wobble to it at all. But this part is fine because I'm just cutting out general shapes here. So this one I, I didn't have an idea of what I wanted as I was going into it. I just decided to start with some kind of rectangular shapes and then... Um, I was kind of getting tired of triangles, so I added this little uh, kind of upside down. It's a V shape when you turn it up, up on the right way up, but since this piece is upside down, I guess it's kind of like an A. Um, anyway, um, this was to totally just uh, free-handed and trying to figure out what I wanted from the beginning, and this is what I came up with. So this one's kind of more bulky and more blocky, but it's on the bottom of the piece. So um, I know it looks on the top here, but it's upside down. It's on the bottom. You can see I wanted to have plenty of strength. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. Nice big rounded shape, some big cutouts in the bottom, um, but I thought it kind of uh, contrasted with the delicate top. So I hope you like this piece and come back and watch some more.